Hello everybody, today I've got a planets tier list for you. Um, I do know a little bit about the planets and I'll try and give you a few bits of information about them but I'm certainly no astronomer so I could get things wrong and if I do get things wrong feel free to correct me and you know don't take what I say as you know gospel I could definitely get things wrong but I'll try my best. Uh, we're going to be ranking them in order from closest to the sun to furthest away seems the logical way to do them so we'll get started so first of all we have Mercury um, it's the closest to the sun uh, it's the first of the terrestrial planets so it's mainly made of like rock um, it doesn't have any moons uh, it has I believe the largest temperature range out of all the planets so it gets very cold and very hot basically so it's not not really great it has a worst of both worlds you know it's got extreme cold and extreme heat very close to the sun um, quite small uh, I think this is the smallest planet actually uh, so yeah it's not really the best it's gonna go in F tier then next up we have Venus um, it is the hottest planet so that's not great uh, but it is something, it's an accolade I guess uh, it also has no moons same as Mercury um, it's the easiest planet to see from Earth you can actually just see it with your naked eye some of the time because it's so bright so you know that's quite interesting uh, but yeah uh, no moons still quite close to the Sun but not as close as Mercury. Um, I think it's it's all right planet. We'll put it C. Then next up we have Earth. I think everyone knows Earth to be honest. You know, everyone watching this video is on Earth, unless someone's watching from the space station, which seems very unlikely. But you never know. So yeah, Earth. It's where we all live. The only planet in that we know about that has life on it. You know, it's got the water. It's just an S tier planet and it? it has to be to be honest. Then up we have Mars. Uh you know, it could could potentially if things go keep going, could have life on it at some point, whether that's humans moving there or going there or there is rumour that there's rumours well not rumours, rumours is the wrong word, there's theories that there has potentially been life on Mars at some point you know because it, it currently has ice at the top and bottom uh, so it's theorized that it could have had water in the past and you know water is pretty key to life um, Mars has the largest known mountain uh, that we know about so you know it's absolutely massive it's like miles bigger than Everest uh, it looks red uh, which I think most people know that's I believe due to oxidised iron on the surface but that could be wrong but I think that's what it is yeah so Mars definite could be one for the future you know potential up and coming planet invest early A tier then we're moving on to the, the gas giants we have Jupiter uh, the biggest planet in the solar system uh, it also has the biggest moon out of any of the planets which you'd kind of expect with it being the biggest planet um, it's actually so big that Jupiter the mass of Jupiter is more than double all the pl other planets combined so yeah that sort of just puts into scale this the absolute size of it uh, it's known for its big red spot that you can kind of see there which is like a massive storm going on um, yeah, so overall, really big, got a lot of moons, has the biggest moon, I think it's a solid B tier. Then we have Saturn, one of the more famous planets due to its ring system, that I think everyone will know about. Uh, the rings are made mainly of ice and other bits of sort of debris. Uh, although Jupiter has the biggest moon, Saturn has the most moons of all the planets but it's only a few more than Jupiter I believe uh, you know also a gas giant like Jupiter uh, see 
it's got the tilted axis. Uh, I think Saturn, it's a well-known planet. It looks interesting because it has the very distinctive rings. I think it can go in here to you. It's, you know, interesting one to look at. Then we have Uranus, or Uranus. Uh, this is actually an ice giant. So it's uh, similar to the gas giants, but mainly more frozen variants of the gas. Um, it is, I believe, the coldest planet out of all of them. Even though it's not the furthest from the sun, but I think it is the coldest. Uh, also, you've got the classic, you know, Uranus. Classic name joke. Gives it some points, doesn't it? Uh, other than that, though, not the most interesting. I think it's probably D tier. Not much going for it other than the Uranus name. Then we have Neptune. Uh, the furthest away planet from the sun. Uh, well, at the moment, at least anyway. Um, it was the last of the planets that we know, that we discovered. Uh, the, I know this for sure, one of the, the interesting thing about Neptune is uh, I think, well, I'm not sure if it's the only, but it was, I think it's the only planet that was actually predicted to be there before it was actually discovered. Like, the mathematicians had worked out that there was another planet around where Neptune is and before it was discovered, and like hundreds of years, I think, before it was discovered. And then, when they eventually discovered it, the maths was like almost perfectly right, and it was like within a couple of percent of where the planet was, so that was... Well, I found that interesting. Most people probably don't, but yeah. So Neptune, furthest away planet, last one to be discovered. Yeah. Uh, also, not much going for it. I mean, the further away ones, we know less about because they're harder to see. So that sort of harms them a bit. You know, less information makes them a bit less interesting. I think it can go in D tier with Uranus. You know, pretty similar. And then, last up, not actually a planet anymore, Pluto. I think you'll know what category this is going in if you've read the categories. Unfortunately, it's going in the dwarf tier. No longer a planet anymore, you know, too small, it's been downgraded. It's a shame, but it is what it is. So, there you go, that was my planet tier list. I tried to put a bit of information in there, because I do know a little bit about planets, but I am no expert, so I could for sure be wrong. Feel free to correct me on any mistakes I've made. Uh, if you enjoyed this tier list, feel free to like the video, subscribe to the channel if you want to see other tier lists. Um, you can also suggest tier lists you'd like to see in the comments, uh, which I'd appreciate. Uh, if you've watched this far, I hope you enjoyed, and thank you very much.